Okay, so sometimes in a React project like this, where we have a list of hotels, sometimes you want to kind of have a sort where we sort by price, name, and so on. So we will be implementing that now. This is a project that we have done previously where we are using Firebase, React, and TypeScript to fetch hotel data from the Firestore database. So now that I have got all of my hotels here, what I want to do is add sort functionality to this so that I can sort by name, price, rating, and so on. So let's implement that now. So going back into my code, if we go into the card component, which was what was visible on the screen before, you can see here, we have a use effect that is fetching the hotel data from our Firestore database over here in real time. And you can see here, we have five different collections within the hotels document. So if we go back in here, we have a non snapshot method, which is essentially setting the hotels to an object. So if we scroll down, we have if hotels and hotels are length, we have an information component being rendered. If there are no hotels, then we render there are no hotels, please add one. Okay, so let's get started on creating the sort functionality and we will create a sort drop down for this. So the first thing we want to do is render a select drop down before the all hotels title here. So we'll just do that here. So select and essentially this select will have a class name. So we have styling for that already, which I'll in import into the index.css. We also have a default value, which is essentially an empty string. We also have an on change method. So this on change method will check the value when we update the select drop down. So on change is equal to. So what we need to do is we need to set some piece of state as well. So we will name it as sort state. And when we type into the import, that will be an event. So we will get the event dot target dot value. So if we pass in e here, and then e dot target dot value like so. So now there's an error saying cannot find name of sort state. So we just need to create the use state for that at the top. So const of sort and set sort, we could call it. So I'll just rename this. And now what I want to do inside here, I want to have an option. And the initial option is going to be sort by. So we will type that in here like so. And now if I save and we check the UI, we can see here we now have a drop down that says sort by so now what we want to do is we want to have the options that we want to sort by so if we look in here or in our database we can see here we have a few options we could sort by so we could sort by the price per night the review the stores and also the name in alphabetical order so going back into my code all I want to do is render a few more options. So option value of price, rating, and another option, and that can be by review. So, And what I also want to do is be more specific. So if I look in here, the price per night we have, so that's what we want to filter by. So instead of price, it will be price per night. And also in here, it's going to be per night as per what it is coming back from the database. If we just double check the rating and review also in the database and i also want to just put in name here and now save let's just double check these values match up the values that are coming back from our firestore database so it is the name or title the review the stores so we just need to amend them so instead of name it is title so we want to sort by title instead of review it is stars or instead of rating it is stars and review is the same as it is there so now what we want to do is see it's rendering on the app at the top so as you can see at the top we have our list of the sort methods here so what i want to do is if i open my inspect tab and in the console what i want to do is when i change these this piece of state should be updated. So the sort state should be updated. So I just want to console log that first of all. 
So just before my return block, I'm just going to do console log of the sort and also add a string of sort as well so I know where it is, what's being called. So in here we can see sort and it's empty at the minute. So that's why it's just rendering the string of sort. So if I change it to title, you can see it changed to title, price per night is per night. So it's essentially updating the value, stars and review. So now what I want to do is if I go back into the code and where we render the hotels. So here, before we map through the hotels, we want to sort through them as well. So there's a few ways we could do that. We could do it beforehand. So hotels.sort, which is also a function. And then essentially we get A and B. So if sort is triple equal to title, what we want to do is return a.title.toLocal compare and b.title. So this is basically saying if a.title is alphabetically before b.title, then we will return that first. And then we can also do else if sort is triple equal to per night. So the state is triple equal to per night. We will do a return of a.per night minus b.per night. And we can do the same again for the stars and also the reviews. Otherwise, we want to return zero. Essentially, what that does is it checks all of the pieces of state for sort. So this piece of state here, when we select a drop down and change the value of the option in here, what will happen is it will check for the value that is of sort, and then it will render or return what we put in these conditions here. Okay, so what I also want to do is clean this up a little bit. So we don't need the else's in here. So if I bring them down, enter, enter, and then also here, we don't need the last else block. It will just return zero. So if I now save, that's a little cleaner. And what I'm going to do now, it says here, a title is possibly undefined. So the title is undefined. So we just need to do another if check within here just to set, check if a.title and b.title. So we can just get rid of this triple equals. So a.title and b.title is there. Then we want to return this. And for per night, if we just go into the per night, we can see here the left hand side is an arithmetic operation. So essentially what's happening is the per night is being returned as a string. So we just need to check the type of per night stores and review. So if we go into our database and as you can see, per night is a string. So we can either change it in here or we can change it on the front end. Review is also a string and stores is also a string. So what I'm going to do is just convert them to numbers. And the way to do that is just wrap it in a number like this. And this will remove the error. And this needs to be done the same on all of them. Or we could just change the type from a string to a number in the database also. Okay, so now that is done and we have a sort function here, we just need to test it on the browser. But there is also one more thing I need to do, which is hotels is an array. So what before we map through the array, we just need to create a copy of hotels because arrays and objects are mutable. So sort does not create a copy of the original hotels array, whereas map, reduce, and filter do. So initially what we are doing is we are sorting. So we just want to use the spread operator and create a new array. So the way to do that is before the return block here. So I want to create a constant in here called new hotels, and that is equal to hotels.sort. And essentially what we could do is put, pass in the arguments that we are passing in here. So these checks here of this sort function and paste them in. And then what we do is before hotels.sort, we just want to check hotels and the length. So hotels and hotels.length. And then we want to sort through them. So now instead of new hotels, we could just call this sorted hotels. So now we have the sorted hotels. What we could do is if we go down where we are sorting, we could delete all of this. And instead of hotels.map, we could do sorted hotels.map like so. 
and now we have an error so if we go over it it says property or map does not exist on type false or new hotel type so essentially what we want to do is delete the first part here so if hotels is there and it's true then we want to hotels.sort and then we do our sort method in here we have our options that update the state of sort here and then instead we want to do sorted hotels dot map and then it's essentially replacing what we had initially of hotels dot map and then if there are no hotels and hotels dot length coming back from the database then we render there are no hotels so please add one so now if i save all all that's left to do is to test this out so in our application what i want to do is sort by price per night so if i click price per night the lowest should be at the top so 59 pounds per night is this one then it's 203 then it's 204 374 and then 506 so the sort is working there we also want to sort in alphabetical order so by the title so if i do that and you can see bauer or lack is showing first and then we have the h the m o and then the s and just to check the others are working as well so the stars so lower stars is at the top which is three then four then five and then just the last one is the review so the review is based on 72 reviews 73 425 556 and then 998 so that is how you add a sort drop down onto the all hotels page what i finally want to do is style this so i'll add a few styles to make it look a little bit better so what did we call this the class name was select so if i go in my index.css and call this class name of select and all i want to do is add some color and let's see what happens here if i save and check the browser you can see the colors changed here so i want to go back to the black color so if we change that again i want to add a margin i also want to an outline of none so now if i save that should look a little bit better which it is we just need to add some padding inside the select as well and then place it in the center so padding of i'm going to say 10 pixels and then a border we can have the green border and the radius on the border as well and then just finally we want to place it in the center so we can give it a margin of auto so now save as you can see now the sort is looking a little bit better we could add some margin at the top there as well so if i add that and the title and then that should be it complete so before the select we can add a h2 and this h2 says sort the hotels and now save and again we just want to place this h2 in the middle so if we give this a class name of sort title and what i'm going to do in the styles is to center this i'm going to say dot sort title and we could give it a bit of font styling but essentially what i want to do is do text al align center and now if i save all you can see here the sort is there and when we sort by price it changes when we sort by review it changes and you can see now that sort is working correctly